I eat meat, I can't just keep eating. There's a certain point on steak where I'm just, I am filled compared to like bread or pasta or all these carving where you just shove it down forever. It's interesting. Yeah, there's, I mean, as you probably know, there's there's these drugs that are out right now, Ozempic, Mojarno, these mm-hmm. GLP-1 receptor, which are very popular, particularly maybe here in, in LA where it was starting to be thin and things like that. And the reason those drugs work is because there's this substance called GLP-1, which is glucagonal-like peptide 1, and it is released at the very end of our small intestine in a place called the ileum. And naturally, that occurs when nutrition kind of goes through our stomach and winds its way through our intestines. And as it gets to the very end, there's something called the ileal break. It slows things down. It says, wait a minute, there's too much food coming in. we got to slow everything down. And that's what these drugs kind of do, but they do it in a massive amount to, to kind of over-exaggerate it. But actually, beef itself is extremely effective at doing that. So it actually slows it down. Once it starts, your body starts uh, you know, sensing that I'm getting some of this really good nutrition uh, with the, with the uh, things like the, the, the protein and the, and the monounsaturated fat, which is interesting. Most people are, are associating beef with with saturated fat, but actually there's quite a bit of monounsaturated fat. In fact, that's the most common fat in beef is monounsaturated fat. So that slows everything down. So you get that sensation that you're full. And a lot of people on a, you know, carnivore or near carnivore diet will notice the exact same thing. 